Do you want to add your content to your WooCommerce product pages? Today's video, I show you how to build the content you need and hook it in your WooCommerce product page by using the Cadence Team Pro with Advanced Custom Fields plugin to have dynamic content without any coding. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie, a place to help you grow your WordPress business. I appreciate if you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out any of my videos. In my website, I have installed these plugins, advanced custom fields to store custom data in WordPress method tables, cadence blocks for Yen Pro to create a sales promotion pop-up, the cadence premium head-on for the cadence team to use the hooked elements feature. I will create two different hook elements and WooCommerce for selling items. First things first, I want to add a dynamic element section to be able to loop custom content data. I'm assuming you have already enabled all the Cadence tools. You enable them by going to Appearance, Cadence, Dashboard and Hook Elements toggle on. What exactly is dynamic content versus static content? First. Dynamic content website owners can edit everything on the backend instantly without coding. Secondly, the information changes according to what the user is looking at instead of static content where you see on the front end will never change. Three, it pulls up your custom fields data from your work database wherever you need them. This is powerful, as you will be able to create personalized content for your users, improving the user experience. Four, one great benefit is that you build once and then apply it across your website with just a few clicks. Okay. At the moment, this is the default, the default product page design. It uses a pretty basic WordPress template. It includes all the basics you would expect, title, price, feature image, and so on. To display custom fields within the single WooCommerce product page, we need to use a useful plugin. So I use the Advanced Custom Field plugin, which is a free tool to display the custom fields that are on the product page. Then it will automatically pull in from the custom fields and show them on the front end. So in your WordPress dashboard, head over to the custom fields tab and click to create a field group and give it a name. I call it product data. And then I create a hat field to make it and to store my additional data. The first field label is product information, then press your tab key from your keyboard to insert it in the following field. The field is a text type. Scroll down here, I determine the custom location. To define where the field group is shown, I choose from the drop list post taxonomy is equal to t-shirts as I only want to use these fields for the product category called t-shirt. For the second, I had for the second field I had another field called details. Press the tab key from your keyboard. This time I select from the drop-down list the WordPress editor. Click on the head new fields. I call it the store behind as a text area so the user can add plenty of text. Press the tab from your keyboard to simplify the procedure. And my fourth Field is designed by, press the tab key from your keyboard as a text type. And publish. Let me show you now how it looks like. I've determined to be shown on the t-shirts product category, right? So products, all products, and I select the t-shirts category and edit. Here are the custom fields we have just created with ACF plugin. Now let's check this with another category. 
I select the heads category. For example, the custom fields are not here as I've determined. I really hope you understand the difference now. It means we can store custom data for the t-shirts category and then present them on the front end. First, I need to fill in the ACF t-shirt fields data inside the WooCommerce canvas. And don't forget to update. The next step is to create the content with the Cadence Elements feature and we pull in this data to the product page. So navigate over Appearance Elements and give it a element name, I call it T-shirt, the type is default, as it allows you to make the element using the blocks. This will be my first example. Later on, I create a fixed type one to illustrate the differences. Click on the plus icon to add the Cadence Row Layout block. It serves as the container for our elements. The first block I want to use is the Cadence Pro Model block. I use the Model feature to place a promotion. Traditionally, pop-up windows are blocked by web browsers, models are not. This block is triggered by a mouse click or a tap on a mobile. The Learn button is the pop-up trigger. I click in the Learn More text to change the bottom text. I selected the test and I wrote Get an Offer. You can use the WordPress list view at the top to select the right element. With the block selected, to your right in the block settings, I stylize the colors to match the website colors. Select the block settings by clicking on the gear icon at the top. I make some quickly editing color work. And now let's edit the content area. I added a H4 tag editing block. I inserted my text 20% of today. And then I added the cadence advanced button block. I changed the bottom text. Select first and write afterwards. And next I assign the link to the text. Selected the text and from the toolbar I inserted the checkout page so the user can go straight to the checkout page with no further delays. Then I added the traditional paragraph below. You can press the Enter key from your keyboard to space it and I wrote the available time offer. The modal box size width is 100% and the max width is 350 pixels. Under the modal close button, I put the size to 35 pixels with a dark color. I tweak some style options, nothing more. Now, I had a new cadence row block by clicking on the plus icon. Inside there, I placed the accordion block to pull in the custom fields data dynamically. Select the accordion block. Choose the design layout. I like to use the list view, so I press the three lines at the toolbar and then I select the pane. To bring in a dynamic data field, click on this icon, WordPress dynamic icon, and then select the ACF, ACF field you want to pull in, just like I'm showing you. It's under the post, the post custom field section. And then the first field type I want to pull in is the product information for the pane. The final step is to click on the add dynamic content button. Then for the second ACF field by typing the slash key from your keyboard, you can quickly insert a block. I selected the paragraph in order to access the dynamic data icon. There it is. So press the dynamic icon and then all you have to do is to select the custom post field type you want to pull in to the accordion block. My second field is details. I'm following my established order. 
and then confirm it by clicking on the Add Dynamic Data. You can delete the slash icon with your keyboard. Please note, every time you insert dynamic data, you get this no content message. Don't worry, consider, consider this as a sign that it has been applied. Now I repeat the same procedure to pull in the remaining ACF fields data. Here it is, no content is a good sign, remember. Delete the slash icon by first selecting and then delete it with your keyboard. Here it is my four ACF fields. Now select the elements icon at the top, it, it, it is this little pencil icon and to determine the hook element settings. Under the placement drop down list I select the exact location. I'm looking specifically at the WooCommerce product lists before Add to Cart form or after the Head to Cart. I decide on before Head to Cart form. I configure to be shown on the single product pages as a group and below I specify the product categories taxonomy and the category label and publish. Now I want to build another cadence element. It will be of a fixed type to bring in a vertical social links bar. You may ask yourself why am I creating another element? The reason is because this one has totally different settings. Although it will be shown on the same product page category, it will stay fixed as the user scroll down the product page. So I must create a new element. So navigate over to Appearance Elements and click to create a new one. I call it Social. I added the default block row. Do a search for the Facebook icon. Align to the left. The size is 40 pixels. The color is a dark blue. After selecting the Facebook element, duplicate three times by using the WordPress toolbar. Adjust the icon so you get the Instagram, Twitter and YouTube icons. I just need to change the icons as everything else has been already configured with the Facebook icon. The placement I select from the drop down list the location you want to be fixed on. As you figure out, as you figure out the options are less. I want a fixed top after scroll meaning specifically that this hooked element only will appear after a user scrolls down the page at a certain distance. The X and Y distance from the edge is 20 pixels and I define to be displayed only on the single products. Below I select by group and below the product categories and below I specify the category's name to be applied to. Moment I have put a zero pixel scroll down distance to test out. Let's preview this quickly to check if the scrolling distance is good or bad. Yeah, it's too soon. I come back to the element settings and I change the scrolling distance to 200 pixels. Yeah, much better this way. Let's check what we have built. My modal pop up is perfect, the dynamic data as well inside an accordion block element. Cool. 
If you enjoyed watching this video, please take a second to subscribe to this channel. It's free, it means a lot to me. It takes only one second and don't forget to smash the bell icon so you get notified whenever I release new content. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in my next video. Bye bye.